Is ADA price moving up in August? Is it moving down in August? That's the answer that everybody wants. And frankly, the first three days of August have sucked for ADA. They've sucked for ADA. They've sucked for everything else in the market. Unfortunately, we've dealt with a lot of adversity. And at least right now, the market is starting to calm down just a little bit. ADA sitting just below 36 cents at the time of filming this video, sitting in the opportunity zone. So we're, we're slowing down. We're calming down. Volume's dropping. That's that's good. We're, we're relaxing for this last day of the weekend. Now, what's interesting about this is there was actually some projections for a, a bullish month ahead when it comes to ADA. And why I'm saying this is there were actually three different scenarios laid out by chat GPT 40 for the month of August for ADA. And all of them actually indicate a price movement to the upside. Now, this is not a guarantee. This is not financial advice. And I tend to uh, take these AI predictions with a grain of salt. Now, I will say in the past, AI hasn't been that uh, forgiving for ADA. It hasn't been very, very good for ADA price. Now, what they said on the conservative side was that we may have a move to 40 cents by August 31st. Obviously, not a very far move up from where we're at right now, but this is based on if we get slower whale accumulation, if we have a very slow recovery in the MVRV ratio, if there's moderate transaction volume and possible delays, right? We obviously have the Chang hard fork that is, that is coming very soon. I believe we're at about 50% of uh, nodes upgraded right now to 9.1.0. So that's all looking at least very good uh, on that side. So they laid out a moderate scenario though, that ADA may reach 50 cents by August 31st. So this assumes ongoing whale accumulation, continued steady accumulation by large holders, a gradual improvement in the MVRV ratio, steady transaction volume and gradual network upgrades kind of on pace and you know no, no big surprises basically. Now the bullish scenario that they laid out was actually 60 cent August 31st. So this is a, probably about what a 60% move in terms of the price of ADA. And this would be based on some very strong fundamentals, strong whale accumulation, recovery in the MVRV ratio. Currently we're at negative uh, 15%, which is a range that frankly ADA tends to bounce out of. And it's a great opportunity zone for assets throughout the space. So high transaction volume, successful network upgrades. So the Chang hard fork and hydroscaling solution, enhanced Cardano's functionality, efficiency, and scalability. So some basically big steps forward from the overall network standpoint. Now, what I have to say is that when I'm looking at these different scenarios here, we're probably somewhere in between these two right now. Things are going according to plan when it comes to Chang. We're seeing big accumulation by whales, entities that have kind of been sitting on the sidelines for a while. They're picking back up. They're building their holdings as price has been down. And can you really blame them? Because this is a time where ADA price has been, frankly, very cheap. Right now, transaction volume overall, $285 million over the last 24 hours, isn't anything crazy. We're kind of just doing basically what everything else in this range is doing. It's, it's just everything's kind of blah right now. We're just kind of waiting. Now, what I wanted to lay out is something I thought was very interesting. So we talked about how we're mimicking this move from September of 2020. We're very much following what we did last cycle. Has anyone taken the time to look at what last cycle's chart actually looked like on top of this scaled to our current cycle? Again, this is the point I wanted to point out. This is September's move and last cycle. This dip, this retrace, this test of this breakout back here during the bear market cycle playing out exactly perfect. The only thing that's a little different here is kind of the in-between, the, the you know your lettuce, tomato, whatever, in the middle of the sandwich. And that's because we didn't have institutional money flowing in. That kind of happened uh, right, uh, where was it? Right here. Institutional money starts flowing in, causes a drop in the overall crypto market. We dealt with kind of a, a big, what was it? Uh, Black Swan event. This is the COVID crash right here. But then the trends start to stay the same. This is why I said that ADA price probably got higher than it should have early on in this cycle, right? If this trend continues here, we're probably somewhere up in here, probably in this 50 to 60 cent range. That's why this looks so much worse. But the interesting thing about this, guys, is we're back on track. If you look at how very how much this mirrors this move that we did back in 2020, it's it's insane, right? So that means that, frankly, ADA has the potential to do this. Now, this is not a guarantee. This is not financial advice. And what this shows is that, you know, by November, we may be somewhere around $1.20. By, by the end of August, somewhere around that 50 cent range. So kind of mirroring this moderate scenario in terms of chat GPT. So this is, this is very interesting. And this is why I've said you cannot gauge assets off of the early part of the market cycle, right? Because if that's the case, then, then you have to say that ADA is going to follow what it did late last market cycle. All right. So I just wanted to share that with everyone. Things may look kind of rough right now. We still have to wait and see, obviously, if there is 
more negative economic data. Obviously, that could always be manipulated. It is what it is. But the market overreacted in a big way. Too, too much. Sold off too much in a very short period of time for as little information as we got. And guess what? This was an opportunity for people to accumulate, for whales to build their positions further, and for, frankly, a lot of people to get left behind again, thinking that we're just going to continue to drop to the downside. Now, again, there's no guarantees. Who knows? We could drop further. We just have to wait and see what happens. But know that the long-term trend is what tends to play out. So I appreciate you guys, as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. Catch you in the next one.